Well, you know, it's kind of funny. You keep thinking that my settings are fine and I'm not going to have to mess with them again. Everything is working good. And then somebody comes out with a new tool or a new version of a tool and you go back and play with them again. So this is the OpenXR Toolkit Companion app. It's an upgrade of the OpenXR NIS Scalar tool, which I've mentioned in some of the other videos that I have been using. Now, as you can see, I use Steam VR. I don't use the Oculus app or the Oculus Link cable. I don't use the Oculus OpenXR runtime. I use the Steam VR OpenXR runtime, and I get much, much better results this way than I ever did with the Oculus cable. It's so much easier to configure, easier to run, easier to test, more stable, and the quality is better. So, with my current settings, and I actually did increase a couple of them, and you can see, I mean, look at these wind farms, these windmills I'm passing. Now I'm getting 30 frames per second here, and I'm very happy with 30 frames per second. It's pretty smooth, and the outside, from outside views, if I wanted to fly that way, you know, it would go 34, 35. Even when I was flying through New York, I was getting frames around 29 or 30, and so I know that they can be tweaked even more. But you can see here, I'm getting 34, 35 frames per second here. 32 on the inside of the cockpit. And for virtual reality, I think that's pretty good with the Quest 2 headset. And I'm running a 3070 processor. These are my settings in the new tool. You can see I have it on NIS, and I have it set at 80% and 60% sharpening. Now, the developer says that when you have the frame rates displayed as you do, as I do here, it actually takes a few frames away. So where it says I'm getting 40, I'm probably actually getting 42 or 43 without the frames per second being displayed. Yeah, this is a heck of a paint job, the Hellcat for the TBM 930. It really is beautiful. And there's a link in the description to it as well. It's available on flightsim.to. Now we're using the Bing graphics here, not the Google graphics. I tried the Google graphics for the Syria and they actually didn't look as good as the Bing graphics. So like I said, my settings right now are more or less what was in my video and what was in the screenshots with the exception of the new tool. So those links are in the description below. Yeah, look at here, I'm getting 37 frames per second here. And I get, you know, if I shut off the frame per second, it would probably jump up to 38 or 39, which is definitely acceptable. And in the cockpit, if I'm getting 35 frames per second, I'm very happy with that. That, to me, is super smooth, especially considering the level of quality that you can see I have turned on here. And I did increase a couple of things in order to make it look a little nicer, and yet I'm still able to now judge my frame rates of what I'm actually getting. So the tool is nice. It gives you the frame rates. It allows you to test it. You can access the menu from within virtual reality. Every time you make a change, you have to go out and back in, but that's a piece of cake. You know, you just hit the control tab. And so I, I think it's worth giving it a shot and I'm going to play with it some more and probably have some more videos up on it. Hey, thanks for watching.